Hi everybody. Um, I just thought I'd kind of like be a little raw right now. I um, have a lot going on mentally and I just finished crying, which is something I haven't done in months because like the medication I take kind of prevents that. I get like tired instead. But um, I just thought of my mom and it was like overwhelming and I cried about it. So like years later, um, it's still, you know, it's, it's never, it's just never going to be something that I'll get over. And, um, uh, you know, I think when it comes to grief, I've, I've run from grief, like, I refuse to grieve sometimes, but, you know, I, I talked to somebody today and I was like talking about my friends that are no longer here. I'm like, he's like, where are your friends? I'm like, they're dead, you know? And I just get really angry sometimes. It, I don't, I don't like let it, I don't let myself get sad, but I get mad. I get really mad, you know, like. And I'm not going to get over it. I'm just like, everybody's like, just let it go and, you know, move on. And, and that's when bad things happen to you. If you don't grieve, like, if you don't, like, acknowledge that people are supposed to be here, but they're not, you know, because somebody's greed. Because somebody um, had to make a few bucks. It just, it sickens me. And, um... It, it's amazing that that life was so worthless to them and 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 to me it meant so much like my best friend um god like I just she was so innocent you know what I mean I'm never gonna get over this I'm so mad I'm so mad it's all over some stupid pills that go around and just freaking kill people so it took me a long time to like get over the fact that med all medication isn't bad, you know, but some of it really is. It just, people just keel over, you know, how, how is that a good thing? I can't, I'm sorry, I, it's bigger than me and I, I have to, I, I know there are some things out of my control, but I could still be upset about it. <sighs> so, anyways, um, just wanted to... Um, kind of share that hopefully because um, I I don't realize sometimes where my anger comes from and it comes from the people that I lost and um, it's okay to be upset about it there's no like real rules to grieving you know there's no sad is sad um and it I just I'm glad I can still be soft you know I'm not like a hardened psychopath or something like that you know I'm I'm very soft still which is a good thing <clears throat> anyways um doing some more roommate changes <laughs> That one today. I'm really excited about it because he's super normal and cool. I'm meeting somebody else tomorrow just to make sure that somebody else isn't a better fit. But um, I know it's weird that I, <laughs> it's always a dude. <laughs> like, I don't know why. <laughs> it's just easier. I grew up, you know, I have dad, brother, nephew, and just I can't live without boys. <laughs> I know that's ridiculous, but they, I got the number one boy. He's not a boy, he's a man, so I think I'm about to call him. He's been very, very supportive through all this. This last um, month has been rough, very rough, and you know, he, he, he left work one day and came to see me, and I was just like feeling like, well... I don't know. He's just like that. He helps people all the time. That's what he does. And he's a good man, you know. He doesn't know how to do anything other than that. <clears throat> Anyways, 
Um, yeah, so I guess that's beginning of the week, end of the month. Um, probably talk some more later when I'm more chilled out. Bye.